All right, what's up people? Uh, got a new old outboard. It's this thing, it's a beast. This is a uh, old Yamaha. It's a 6CM. And the dealer at uh, Yamaha in uh, Longyearbyen, that's in Svalbard for, um, for those who aren't Norwegian. Um, they dated it to be a 1988 model. Picked it up for $150. Uh, it supposedly runs, um, but it has some issues. This thing is stuck um, in gear. And ooh, look at that. This thing is stuck also, probably, probably because it's also uh, in gear. So we gotta sort that out. Uh, let's have a look under the hood and for being a 1988 this thing doesn't look bad it's not in pristine condition but it is it is not bad not bad at all and everything works here uh, the controls it's just marvelous um, so let's have a look at what's wrong with this thing. Um, figure it out. Came with a spare prop. Um, way too big, I think. Nine and a half. Nine and a quarter by seven. And look at this. To this day, it came with the original toolkit. That's just, that's just um, out of this world. All right, so let's see how this thing will work out. Okay, so the first thing I like to do when I do, uh, uh, I don't know, survey is to check out the oil in here just to see how far gone it is or not. So that's pretty easy. Um, oh, wow. Loosen the inlet to get some air in. Have a little cuppy cup ready. And see what comes out. Hopefully. It doesn't look so bad. Okay, it doesn't. That's good. As you can see here, it's this brownish color thing. Um, this could be a whole lot worse. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna change this, put some new back in. Okay, so while we wait for the oil to drain, um, I use this as CRC 336 and just bomb it with that stuff to kind of, I don't know, loosen up any bolts that need to be undone and makes it a whole lot easier for yourself. Gets the rust away. All right, so I buy my 336. You can go WD-40, uh, 556, whatever. Uh, and get them in these cans and it's just way cheaper. All right, so the prop, I don't know, it's not new, but it looks all right. Uh, maybe I'll change it, maybe I won't. I think this might be the original for the six horsepower. And what we're gonna do also in this, uh, uh, with this air engine is to uh, try and um, see if we can't make it as uh, into an eight horsepower, which uh, allegedly should be should be doable with these things. By um, I'm gonna look more into that and figure it out what what to do, and then we're gonna test it and see what the power increase is and yada yada yada. Okay, so to get the stuff back in, I like to do a little flush uh, just to get some of the old grime out. I don't know, oil is cheap. I'm using this thing, it's a Q8 8090 GL5, it doesn't say for marine, I know, but I'll take my chances. Alright, so all uh, change is uh, done, uh, got some new washers there, um, let's have a look at this thing here, what's going on, and to do that we gotta undo the linkage, it's up in here, takes two 10 millimeters. Yeah, all right, so I can't tell what's going on here. I got it to move a little bit. 
uh, looks like there's some problem and the starter um, lock mechanism is also not disengaging so we're gonna take off the lower housing <coughs> take off this thing and just see what we can find out there's probably I don't know usually it's not too difficult um, so let's do that and have a look all right so that's easy undo these uh, four bolts two on each side <laughs> and this thing was actually loose um, so maybe maybe there's just some kind of screw up in here um, definitely not supposed to be finger loose okay so here we go all four bolts are loose let's see if this thing Ooh, look at that oh that's just beautiful but i obviously now immediately see a problem let's just oil come out here so this is indicative of something not so good okay so as soon as the lower housing came off i mean it's not running smooth so i'm still gonna have to look at but the automatic uh, unlocking uh in gear start protection started working so that's good undid the plug so it's not gonna start but i mean this thing i think it's gonna be a beast okay so what happened here is this thing came loose probably not a good sign <laughs> but i'm sure we can sort it out yeah okay so i finally got the cover off and uh and here's what came out uh we'll have to look at that okay so i figured out what was going on in here there was uh there was just a shift lever which had jumped out of the track and the little pin that pushes on the reverse gear had come all the way out so that that was just about everything and now i'm just gonna put it together and i think this thing is gonna run awesome and what's up guys um update on the motor so yesterday it ran and it ran really nice i'm super proud it's a 1988 and this thing just purred like a kitten um okay so it wasn't cooling um the coolant is supposed to come out here it's not coolant it's seawater um, and what had happened was that in the assembly maybe it was my fault maybe it was i don't know um there's a tube in here for the water from the impeller to come up and this rubber gasket it had gone up the up the tube of the uh, the water tube and uh, and so the water was probably just squirting around in here and it couldn't make it up here just a little bit came out and that's not enough so i took it off again uh figured out that um also took off the prop and uh, lubricated and cleaned the the threads on uh, on the shaft and all those things now it's time for some new spark plugs um and and this thing should be ready to go and i believe it will run like a like a kitten and the gear now works it's smooth it's not the softest in the world but it works so stay tuned and also we are gonna try whoa we are gonna try this thing on it a hydrofoil just to see if that makes any difference and uh, if it uh, helps or not so i'm gonna do some reviews of top speed with hydrofoil without hydrofoil and see what happens and also we're gonna this is a six horsepower and i'm gonna research how to uh, make it into a eight horsepower because inside here is the exhaust and uh, there is a limiter in here which i'm gonna drill out and see what kind of difference that makes too so we're gonna have a lot of reviews on this thing how to make them run and old engines if you can make them work um, why not it's perfect so stay tuned all right so we got some new spark plugs gonna go ahead and fit those the gap looks about right and um, the old ones was a little dirty which is to be expected i guess just think about when you do the spark plugs tighten it hand tight and then go like 
90 degrees, something like that. Don't overdo it. So many people strip their threads. Don't be that guy. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. Engine's ready to go. Gears in neutral. We got water. Chokes on. Engine's primed. <laughs> to see a lot more water. I don't know if this is right or not. It looks low. <laughs> <laughs> 